Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is one of our YouTube family members who is sharing their heart and their pain. And I want to share in the Pat's Two Cents section a word of encouragement. And I hope it helps. Pat, this is such a true message. It hits close to my heart because my dad wasn't in my life. And I have had a lot of trouble with love and being deceived with men. I wish I had been so lucky and so sad that so many men aren't there for their children. I love you, Pat, and thank God your dad helped make you who you are today. I don't know why God didn't allow me to have a dad down here, but I guess it made sense for me to develop spiritually closer to him as my only father. Not sure what else it did, but I do feel a bit of sadness when I see other men and how good they are to their children and how I didn't have a dad here in my life. Adults take marriage too easily nowadays and sin cheating too lightly. It's a big shame. Well, let me say this to you. And I'm actually commenting straight to you for sharing this. Thank you for opening your heart out. You're not the only one feeling this, and I know this will help other people who are in the same pain you're in. Listen, every one of us in the body of Christ and out of the body of Christ suffer some type of inadequacy. For me, I dealt with the sadness of watching mothers enjoy their children. When I always felt like my mother did not really enjoy me, she tolerated me. She loved me enough to raise me. So I had both my parents in the home. But my father was my healing salve because my mother hurt me tremendously, unknowingly in most cases. Children aren't blind. Children can tell when they're being tolerated, when they're being put up with. So, yes, I appreciate my mother. And yes, we had some fun times. But there were so many hurts. And I just want to share with you that God, when he allows you to go through that, always think of purpose. God is about purpose. He knows you can handle it just like he knew I could handle it. Ask God to heal you, heal your heart, and fill that void. Because I'm telling you, I don't feel any sadness about my mother anymore because God took me through a healing process that took almost 18 years. And when God heals, he heals. And every single segment, segment of the healing process, the healing was instant. It didn't take 18 years to heal. It was every single thing. It was like first he healed my thumb, then he healed my toe, then he healed my knee, then he healed my heart. Then That's what I'm talking about. First he healed me of my need for my mother's affection by giving me my mother's affection in a dream. I'm telling you, ask God to heal your heart. This is for all of us. All you guys that deal with inadequacies, things that you felt like you were cheated out of, that you didn't get, that you needed to get in your life. There are so many people out there like that. And God's purpose is, when you have gone through it, and you've gone to him for your healing, and your healing is being complete, guess what? After God has strengthened you, you are to get up, dust yourself off, and go strengthen the brethren. There are many more out there who have yet to receive that healing. You hear me? So that is why we are to minister to one another. Let God minister to you in all the deep areas. If it's rejection, ask God to pull rejection out of you at the root. Get it out at the root and cast it out of you in the name of Jesus. Tell it, I cast you out, rejection. I command you to leave me all the way at the root in the name of Jesus. And ask God to reveal his love to you. Ask God to strengthen you 
on the inner man. Ask God to heal you and even help you forgive your father. Ask God to remove your need for a human father. Remove the need. I was hungry for my mother's uh, affection. God fixed it by giving me a dream that my mother embraced me with all her might. That healed that. Another time, God had me debate with my mother over the Bible. And I said, whatever, that's what you think. This is what I think. When I woke up, I knew God had delivered me from the need of my mother's approval. I mean, it was like dream after dream. The experiences God gave me. And the last was when I was delivered from the root of rejection. That was my biggest issue. God will show you what your biggest issue is. But start with the little ones. Get all the healing out. He's not going to deliver you all at once, but he will deliver you thoroughly. You hear me? And then he will use you to help your brothers and sisters heal as well. God bless you and be encouraged.